Tonight, okay. you I? are auditioning to be a lounge singer. El Jefe. El Jefe. Let's do it. Let's Boom. Do it. Welcome back to the Desert Brew. I'm Rashid. And I'm Gene. All right, we have a very special Zen Relaxed episode segment for you guys. Uh, we are here with the beautiful, Zen peaceful founders of Good Vibes yes. Sound Bath. And we are here in uh, Indian Wells today. Indian Wells. However, uh, just so you know, they move throughout the Coachella oh, Valley yeah, and other cool. places. Uh, for somebody like me who is high strung at moments, High energy. I'm actually so relaxed that I asked for she to open the show. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Season two. We are ready to get back to work. Let's welcome our guests. For the people at home, please tell them your amazing names. Yes, Lauren Delsardo. And Michelle Stedman. The names are even peaceful. They are peaceful, <laughs> they are peaceful. Um, no, but serious, this is something, uh, I really look forward to it. Mm -hmm. and, and it is an experience that if you have the opportunity, uh, what? first of all, give everybody the website before we start. Yes. Uh, good vibe sound bath. Those at home that don't know what a sound bath is, it is a meditative experience, really something for you to escape into, not out of, but into, and really immerse yourself in a environment of just, I, I mean, how would you guys explain it? Well, there, fortunately, sound baths have become very popular lately, and we're really taking it to the next level yes. because good vibe sound bath is a floating experience as you guys enjoyed and it's really truly immersive we take the element of floating on water yes. slight movement in water although you're not wet you're on a huge raft so you're not actually in the water you're on the water and combined with two different sound practitioners playing the bowls and the gong and the flute under the moon and the stars and the beautiful desert oh. sky and mm -hmm. it's magical it's <laughs> it's magical i mean so the experience is that yeah. and uh you basically they help you onto a raft cover you in a beautiful blanket snuggle blanket, you in. with yeah. a pillow with, with a, the pillow with a pillow optional eye mask. Eye mask. and they uh and an optional eye mask i may have lost mine in the pool oh, i just remembered <laughs> i had one anywho uh, and they float you out into the middle of the pool. There are others floating, so they have what they call otters within the pool. Yes, I love help I navigate love your path. I'm yes. hoping to become an otter. So yes. I'm <laughs> <doing this show. laughs> exactly. And um, so they help guide you. So yep. you're, you're not running into a lot of people. But the truth of the matter is, is I think that there was a combined energy that came from everybody that was within yes. that pool. Yes. That's really was the experience for me. I mean, obviously the relaxation. Uh, the sound, because yeah. not only are they, do you have the two sound practitioners, but I also felt as if there were people moving with sound as well. Was I wrong about yes, that? Yes, that's Michelle is a third practitioner who walks around with different okay. instruments and really over you, so you're yes. just feeling yes. like it's showering down on mm -hmm. you. Okay. Yeah. That we have a lot of very busy professionals that we know as friends or we just know through the community who come to this to just escape. All of us work so hard. All of us mm -hmm. are experiencing stress in one way or another, or all of us have just, you know, partied through the season and need a little relaxation and rejuvenation and not enough of us take the time for self-care. I would also add um, from personal note that it's sort of the next level. So moving to Coachella Valley mm -hmm. in general, you want a level of peace. Yeah. I came from Los Angeles, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you come here and that's one level, but just to take it to the next level, 
is experience something like this because it, it really just ground you completely. Gene, you are honestly a different man than you the one we met before. Yes. Yes. What they're you're, trying you're, to say is I was a little, a little high of Gene. You're absolutely right. right. Yeah. I mean, it did change you. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. just so zen. You're. <sighs> He's going to be writing you a check later because yeah. I'm actually going to be nice to him now. <laughs> <laughs> did you give him a hug after he got out? I did. I got a hug. Oh, yeah. Somebody gave me a hug. That was me. Yeah. Yeah. I, was I, gave, I gave him a hug. Yes. Yeah. Lucky you. I want to know, I mean, who came up with yes. this? How did it How did it come to be? Tell everybody the combination about it. I mean, of both. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, Lauren and I have been long friends, and we would always attend sound baths together. And scrolling through Instagram. A classic sound bath. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes, that's right. And scrolling through Instagram, I saw somewhere on the other side of the United States, they did it in their pool, just their home pool on a float. And I just thought, what a concept. I was just looking for something that I could do. It wasn't start a business, but it was, I just want to participate in it. Right. And I couldn't find anything. So I said, Lauren, what do you think about this? <laughs> well, you know, I have my plan for the year. I don't think so. I said, okay. Next day she calls me. She's like, I've already booked our first appointment client i'm in <laughs> we're, we're, we're on to the sporting yes, goods store yes. to buy some wraps that's rats. right and yes. we've been sold out every single event yeah. for the end of the year ever yeah. since i love yeah. it yeah but you can still actually go because i overheard somebody saying today that you're adding dates on we yeah. are we are yeah this week we are and we're so honored to be partnering with Tommy Bahama Miramonte here in Indian Wells, as well as Azure Palm up in Desert Hot Springs, mm -hmm. where you can come and soak in the mineral springs all day and then end your day with the float. And it's lovely. And we are so blessed that we have people flying in from mm -hmm. all over yeah. the place, right. checking in and checking out. That's all. Can you believe it? Season two, we are ready to get back to work. So how it. did you choose your, your sound? These individuals that you choose to partner with as well too. Oh, our wonderful sound mm. practitioners, David, David and Joy. Joy. They are, a, just an incredible duo and they're so committed to being yes. the best that they can be. They practice, you know, around these mm -hmm. events and every time they come, it's a yes. more united sound and it's just lovely. I, I have lovely. questions about the sound. Yes. Okay. Um, was she singing at one point? What would... There was an under track mm. of okay. someone singing. Wow. Yes. And then the end I thought was magical because it was sort of like um, futuristic, like getting off a spaceship, like you're coming into dock. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you if you heard that, but it just yeah. the way it sounded, it was almost like it was in an Calling airport to, or something. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm ready for to get like a, a punch man. card to keep coming, like like a you go to yogurt or something. I'll keep coming. <laughs> Mm. After 10, I get a free one, right? He, he even said he doesn't need another drink tonight. Ooh. <laughs> I think the shock of the water has gone right to your head. <laughs> and by the way, he said another. Does I never had one. You had yours and mine. But another story. It transforms people. And you know, the, what people, you're fully clothed, right? These are the clothes you get onto the raft on. And yes. you get out, you only get your feet wet. And... It's it's an incredible experience, especially for those who are too busy to do it. Make the time for the self-care and come and just yeah. enjoy the experience. You know how you know I'm a believer? We never generally open the show with the first segment or guests. Mm. But I thought this was so magical here. Yeah. And the experience and the surroundings yes. and, and um, my good friend who, you know, I guess I like you. Um, no, he's what? the best. Did you, he's my best buddy. Did you drink some of that water? I did. Uh, <laughs> you guys, magical, magical, magical. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes. And um, we're going to give all the information. It's also going to be on our site. And then I think you'll see the segment again as we get closer to some yeah. add-on dates. Wonderful, well. yes. So, and maybe you might find Rashida and I here. I yeah. think we'll see you come back and and 
We should say that August 15th yes. is National Relaxation Day. That's right. And who is the ambassador of Relax? Tommy Bahama. There you go. So we will be here on August 15th and they're gonna make a big to do. Wear your Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I think we should end this segment with a hug. I oh, love it. It's my favorite. <laughs> no, you're not a professional. I want the professional. Hug. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make sure we don't burn each other. Can you believe it? Season two. We are ready to get back to work. Hey, hey, welcome to the Desert Brew. I'm here with Paul Chapman, and we are at Low Desert. Yes, welcome to Low Desert. Low Desert. So this is gonna be a, one of our must tries. I have to tell you the reason why we are not doing this on Cinco de Mayo is because we came by on Cinco de Mayo and there was a line. It was busy. Crazy, right? Oh, Crazy. yes. Tell us a little bit about the restaurant. We're already mm. in love with it. Again, it's a must try for Desert Brew, so. Mm -hmm. How long you been open? Tell us about your position here. What you, you're like, you, you, I hear you're the brains of the operation. Mm -hmm, somewhat, I'm the, oh, actually the, the person behind the brains of the ah, operation. <laughs> that's a nice save, that's a nice save. I'm kidding. I'm yeah, kidding. so I get everything moving and jiggling behind the scenes. I love um, that. My name is Paul Chapman, I'm the general manager here at Low Desert. Um, we've been open for about a year and four months now. Um, we provide a Mexican cuisine. We have the modern Mexican. I was gonna say modern Mexican. Modern not Mexican. Just, not just Mexican. You no, can go no, anywhere no. for Mexican. You definitely can. But we modernized it and made it something as a staple here at Low Desert and changed it up a little bit. So when you go to a normal Mexican restaurant, they don't have vegan, vegetarian food, gluten-free food. We kind of open up the variety a little bit more to go ahead and bring in more people that have different types of allergies. I hear you do it and the taste is still amazing, if not better oh and yes because it's cleaner right i mean you're, you're not you're not mixing it up it's not heavy but I mean, you have vegan cheese i know pepper jack vegan cheese pepper jack pepper jack oh, i only yes. had one half a margarita <laughs> and he's jacked up already exactly, exactly. <laughs> a little pepper in your jack right there uh okay so tell us about like your signature dishes if someone comes in and they're like i gotta have because paul said it's gonna be what? I would say come in and try out the enchiladas, let me tell you. Enchiladas. The enchiladas, and there are great enchiladas. You can get two on a plate, comes with rice and beans. Okay. You get your choice of red sauce or green sauce. If you want to, you can mix them both up. You know, we always like to mix things up here in the desert. Yeah, until you get here and they say the chef won't do it. And then you just blame Paul. <laughs> you right? come right to me. You go, you go, you go, you go right to me. But the, actually the first place I had to stop and we're gonna do a little, we're gonna do a little uh, go to and see it in a little bit. Uh, I thought the bar was really cool. I mm -hmm. think the bar is beautiful. Uh, it just, this whole place is like amazing, like happy energy, which is cool. Which well, is it cool. should be. We're, we're serving nice cocktails and great food. There it brings go. out that bubbliness into you. And, and it's a Mexican food too that's not gonna weigh you down. It's gonna keep you going and let you feel light and fluffy and keep on moving through the day. I mean, light and fluffy margaritas all in one day. I'm happy. Oh, you should I'm be. I'm happy. <laughs> you have to choose one thing as your last meal on this menu. Oh, I would have to say my arwarache. Our huarache is on a masa tortilla. Okay. Oh, you can do it. It has rice, beans, and then your choice of meat. Huarache? A huarache. It Say means it again. sand huarache. Huarache? Huarache. Huarache? It means sando in Spanish. Okay. So I'm not gonna smack you with it right All now. Right. Oh my God. <laughs> violence, violence. <laughs> you speak Spanish? Yo hablo espanol un poquito. Oh, mi español es muy malo. Oh, see, look at that. There you go. That's all I got, people. Oh, so now we're going to Puerto Vallarta yes, and taking yes, the show exactly, abroad. Exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. No, right? Well, right now we really want to focus on, um, uh, we're closed on Mondays, but Tuesday through Sunday, we have happy hour, two to five. Okay. Come on down and try out our tacos. Um, you have your source of, of selection of all of our tacos. We also have great enchiladas that are great mixer and things too to have as a guest like you, for me to, you to share for mm. all four of us. I don't share. Sharing is caring. Mm, who cares? <laughs> Go ahead. We have nachos too, um, and then the, the alcohol drinks. Uh, we have the, uh, what you have was the mango margarita, and yep. then I have the white water margarita, and he's having a michelada. Mm. 
But did you change it up a bit? Oh yes, we changed the uh, color backdrop. Okay. okay. We opened up the wall. We did a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I was gonna that. say this doesn't seem like a barbecue place. Oh, it, There's no like sawdust on the ground. It was everywhere. Sawdust. We painted the floors, wiped oh, down the walls. Go. We okay. wanted to bring Low Desert and Coachella Valley into the restaurant, so we made a mural that impacts the desert and brings it in. It gives it the feeling. There's a mural Indian of, of pretty much Indian. Where's uh, Hilisco? Is that where he's from? That's where the chef is from, from Jalisco. And where? And where there's no reference? No, the reference is just in his authentic cooking. Okay. Good answer. Paul's on it. I don't know. I he, he knows how to, <laughs> you know what? Hey, look, almost the same height. He can replace Rashid. Oh, don't tell him that. I haven't even met the man yet. <laughs> you will, you will. Okay, so oh. talk, tell me about this. Okay, so here we have some of our lovely tacos. I would love for you guys to come down on happy hour and try out. Okay. We have our carnitas taco mm -hmm. with a little bit of pico de gallo and a little bit of cilantro topped off. And let me tell you that carnitas is so good, you're gonna just die when you taste it. And then we have our El Pastor. You're very passionate about those carnitas. So I'm passionate about all my food, there like if go. I cooked it myself. <laughs> right. And then we have our El Pastor taco with marinated in the pork and then also marinated with the pineapple. It is so good. Oh wow, that's interesting. Then we have our birria tacos with our pickled onion. Pickled Top onion. with a little cilantro. Love that. You can't beat that. And then our homemade salsa to get it salsa in. So, you say salsa like me, salsa. <laughs> I don't think there's a Z. Is there a Z in salsa? No, I don't no. know. No. I, I get a lot of shade for the way I say salsa. You should be the gringo version, salsa. Well, I think I've been around way too many gringos. There you there. go. There you go. It All is right. the desert. It looks amazing, and uh, people got to try it, man. Yeah. So the, the low desert modern. By the way, we didn't get that earlier in the name. Modern Mexican. Modern low Mexican. Desert. Modern Mexican. Mm-hmm. So, all right, Paul, you're the best. Thank you, man. Well, no, thank you guys appreciate for coming it. out today. We really do appreciate you guys coming out. Of course. Look forward for. Um, is, this is our new must try. You got must try, people. You got must try. Mm -hmm. Can you believe it? Season two. We are ready to get back to work. Welcome back to another segment on the Desert Brew. I'm Rashid. We have here Liana and Miguel. So we are here at the historic Camelot Theaters in Palm Springs. I have to ask, why this theater in particular and for your show, um, what's it called, Music Ocean Odyssey? Yes, okay. uh, it's Music Ocean Odyssey is uh, the one coming up and then we have uh, Music Space Odyssey in June. And I chose this theater um, because of the historic uh, nature of, of the space and also the fact that the screen behind us is the largest screen in the Coachella Valley which is so exciting for us it, it creates a, a sense of um, immersion mm -hmm. that you can't get with a smaller theater so it, it just was a perfect marriage of live music nature scapes and the biggest screen I love that mm -hmm. so what goes on during your, your shows well, what happens is on the screen behind us, um, you will see nature scapes. Mm -hmm. So depending on the the show theme for, for that particular month, um, if it's the ocean um, odyssey, you're going to see all ocean scapes, right? We usually start the show uh, with a little drum circle with all the musicians. Mm -hmm. And totally, you know, off the speakers, we just bring the drums to the center. Mm -hmm. We'll do a little drum circle and then we'll transition into some jazzy and blues music. Mm -hmm. It sounds very like therapeutic it <laughs> in is. some sorts. So tell me about the music. What is the music selection like? So I curate the show based on uh, the theme. So okay. if we're doing ocean uh, oceanscapes, what I'll do is I will select uh, popular covers that have ocean or water uh, themes to to the lyrics or to the title. Um, it could be Under the Sea, it could be uh, Madonna's uh, La Isla Bonita. Uh, songs that 
that the audience is familiar with, um, but with a twist. So if it's a pop tune, we will rearrange it into like a, a jazz arrangement or another, you know, a bossa arrangement, bossa nova arrangement. I think you teach me a few, uh, a few rhythms on yeah, that. Sure. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Something simple, I don't want to embarrass myself. Yeah, right. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna go with, wait. Ooh. Oh, okay, okay. Ah. <laughs> I love it, I love it, okay. If I were words, hold my hand somewhere. And there you have it. Make sure you check out Music Ocean Odyssey here at the Camelot Theaters in Palm Springs. And Liana, Miguel, thank you again for the amazing talk and interview. And uh, for everybody else out there, we'll be seeing you real soon. Any dirt on me? Any dust? Because you know. No, you, no, you All can't right. even tell. All right. It's it. Wait. Ooh. Oh, okay.